Now, if you've decided to go gluten-free for a medical or personal reason, do I have a great grain for you. It's naturally gluten-free and it's called quinoa. It's super simple to make. You just boil one cup of the dried quinoa with two cups of water for about 15 minutes, and then you season it up with whatever tickles your fancy. Check out these impressive stats. One cup cooked provides eight grams protein, five grams fiber, and it's rich in iron and magnesium. Quinoa's clearly got one impressive resume, don't you think? I'm gonna share three of my favorite ways to dig in and reap its health perks. First up is my quinoa yogurt parfait. You just mix half a cup of cooked quinoa with a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon, layer on top six ounces of low-fat or non-fat Greek yogurt, and then one chopped apple. And then I'm just gonna give it a pop of cinnamon. This is such an easy breakfast that packs 22 grams of filling protein and seven grams of fiber. That's what I call a perfect way to rise and shine in the morning. Next up, my veggie quinoa pilaf. And this makes a tasty vegan entree or a side dish for just about anything. Just saute chopped vegetables until they get nice and soft in a skillet, and really anything goes. Here I've used mushrooms, bell pepper, and some kale. Add in a tablespoon of taco seasoning blend and one can of drained, rinsed black beans and a few cups of cooked quinoa. Mix it all up, season it with some salt, some pepper, whatever herbs and spices you like, and then you have got one delicious power party. And last but not least, my sweet potato quinoa pancakes. And these will most certainly hit the spot. I just mix one and three quarters cup cooked quinoa with two cups of grated sweet potato, one small grated zucchini, one cup of egg whites, pure protein. And this is the equivalent of eight eggs, but just the whites. Half a cup of chopped parsley, half a cup of chopped basil, one teaspoon of kosher salt, and a quarter teaspoon of ground black pepper. I'm gonna mix this up. Miss my skillet with some oil spray. Just fry them up in the pan for about three minutes on each side. The hardest part, waiting for them to be done. Garnish with some fresh herbs, topped with Greek yogurt. These delicious pancakes, they're just 40 calories a piece and they deliver tons of nutrition. And topped with either yogurt or light sour cream or even applesauce. I'm going in for a bite. Mmm, spot on. Whether you're all for gluten or gluten-free, quinoa is calling your name. So make these three easy recipes and dig in.